Hey guys, what's up? Today we have a Shirogor Brothers model 95 with inlay. Uh, ever since I first got my model 95T, probably three years ago, um, it has been my favorite production slash Mitek uh, knife for a long time. Uh, why I call it Mitek? Because uh, there's a lot of uh, handwork or labor uh, work on it so um, this is a newer version I received from a friend from Russia his name is Tom I do not believe uh, he's Russian because he speaks very very good English and uh, or just too good and uh, I like to chat with him because he knows he knows a lot about uh, uh, sugar of knives and uh, he sold me this knife at a very very reasonable price uh, it's aftermarket of course and uh, this knife cost uh, double the price of this knife uh, which is beautiful of course um, is it worth it mm, maybe not double the price uh, but this knife is 10 times harder to find probably more than 10 times harder to find than this so it all depends on you how you like your knives and uh, on the cruise reef sevens uh, you don't get a bearing and you don't get flippers so if you like bearing and flipper i guess you only have one choice okay um the carbon fiber you see here are very high end carbon fiber uh no it's a very low void carbon fiber uh, no holes and uh they have these grooves on the scales and uh, you can you can feel every wave of the groove so it's very precisely uh, milled and I like the shifting uh, colors of the of the carbon fiber and if you see uh, the edges the edges are very very uh, CNC cut uh, finely cut so no cracks uh, same on the back and they even have a cut uh, a cut down here so uh, the pocket clip has a little bit more space uh, between the, the handle the pocket clip still remains the same as the one uh, a few years back I have had no problem with it I love the pocket clip goes easy into your pocket and stay very tightly it is tightened down uh, by one screw these are proprietary screws uh, so it's it's not easy uh, it's not hard to get uh, get it out because it's just you know you can you can open it with a coin uh, the standoff on the back it's uh, blue analyzed it's the electric blue I love the color also the the knife itself it's uh, also analyzed um, so this is a kind of like a a little bit a rare uh, version and uh, this blue, I like it very much. It's it's a it's a dirty uh, blue, so you don't have to be afraid to get it uh, dirtier. And uh, it's it's very very evenly analyzed. Uh, it's just amazing how they do these works. They're just so perfect. Uh, the lock bar you see here, uh, it has a stainless steel insert, and uh, it's being held together by this screw. Uh, the stainless steel uh, insert helps uh, lessen the wear uh, every time you flip the knife when the blade tank touches the lock and it also serves as a lock bar uh, stabilizer so you, it prevents you from uh, over bending the lock bar which is good for some uh, super uh, human type of people they just might overbend it okay that's a nice feature to have uh, the pivot contains a uh, ball bearing system it's a single ball bearing system uh, they have a higher end which is a uh, multi ball bearing system and then they have a uh, uh, roller <laughs> bearing system and then they have the double roller uh, bearing system for their uh, top of the line full custom um, can you feel the difference on those um, 
I have, I have had the uh, full custom version, and I have to tell you that uh, there is a difference uh, with the multi roll, uh, with the double roller, double roll roller uh, bearing system. It's just a little bit smoother. Uh, you can feel it. Uh, it does not make a lot of difference in speed, uh, but it's definitely uh, smoother than this uh, single ball bearing system which is very smooth sometimes too smooth you know that's how it closes um, it's just got like like it's very much like the guillotine uh, so it's kind of like it's kind of dangerous you know um, the way I close the, my knife uh, it's it's it, it, that's how I close my knife okay I have the, the my thumb point up pointing up unlock it I let the blade hang touch my fingernails I move away my fingers and close it um, I, I don't do this type of uh, closing open it sideways and then just let the blade drop on my thumb uh, that's pretty and that's smart thing to do because these knives are just way way too way too glidey and it will cut you so the smart way is it just it's, it's like this you know you open it it drops on your fingernails move away and just close it okay do that um, the pivot are bigger now and it also uses uh, their proprietary proprietary uh, pivot it's sealed so they don't want you to open it up uh, the blade it's pretty thick um, it's actually thicker than the famous uh, Sebenza you can see it's just a tiny bit probably a 0.5 millimeter uh, thicker uh, but it, it, it is uh, thicker and it's full flat grind okay it's flat grind and so it retains a lot of blade uh, throughout the the, the entire um, you know flattening procedure. Uh, very very sharp, very shallow edge, but very sharp. Uh, the tip it's not very thick, which is good for cutting. This is a high performance knife, uh, stabbing, cutting, slicing. Um, it does. It's not for prying. Um, but I have seen on the on, on some videos that uh, people do, you know, uh, abuse this knife, just test it out, uh, like stabbing on on fridge or on some metals. Uh, and uh, the tip has has uh, of Sebenza has come up really good. So I believe this will come up really good too if you decide to stab on a fridge. Blade centering perfect, no movement. Uh, even with this super glidey uh, action, um, there are no, you know, you, you just you cannot flex it. Uh, no, absolutely no movement on this blade. It's it's done the way uh, a folding knife should be done. A cut out here on the side, so when you deploy the the the, the knife. Uh, your finger just slides o slides over, um, gives you a less uh, contact point. So you know, less uh, fingernail damage. Um, the edges on this knife have been chamfered. You can see on the video a lot of cuts, and all these cuts are very. Uh, are smooth down smooth out so no sharp edges at all so um, that's it about uh, this knife I'll do a comparison video with the old one uh, because there are some uh, differences um, for all who loves a uh, high-end production knife really really high-end production knife and uh, with a very well designed uh, and, and time proven uh, design this is a very good one you know um, it's much more expensive 
and some production knives, but it's much cheaper uh, than a lot of custom knives that uh, has to ha that, that have uh, the same type of uh, quality. So, in a sense, you are getting a bargain uh, because because if uh, you know if you are getting a custom knife with all the perfections, it will probably cost you double or triple uh, what this knife cost. So it all depends on how you see things. For me, I'm glad I bought it. Um, it's been in my pocket ever since I got it. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. And uh, you can write it in the description box. And let me know what's your uh, favorite uh, high-end production knives. That's about it. Thank you. Thumbs up. See you later.